Demo 6.5 Create Production Order In this demo, we will create a production order. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction. Alternatively, you can enter the transaction code CO40 in the command field to directly access it. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu. First, expand the Logistics menu by clicking on the arrow. In the Logistics menu, expand the Production menu. In the Production menu, expand the Shop Floor Control menu. In the Shop Floor Control menu, expand the Order menu. In the Order menu, expand the Create menu. Finally, in the Create menu, select Transaction CO40 from Planned Order. The system displays the production order Create Initial Screen. Enter the number of a previously created planned order in the planned order field. In this demo, we will use planned order number 303. Next, we will select the order type. Click the search icon next to the order type field to display a list of order types. The system returns a list of possible order types. We will select order type PP01, standard production order. Highlight this option and click on the enter icon. The planned order and order type fields are now complete. Click on the enter icon to continue creating the production order. The system displays the production order create header screen. The data in the production order are grouped into several tabs. General, Assignment, Goods Receipt, Control, Dates and Quantities, QTIES, Master Data, Long Text, and Administration. The General tab is selected. Much of the data in the production order have been copied from the referenced planned order. Changes can be made as needed. Click on the Type field in the Scheduling section to view the different scheduling types. The system displays several scheduling options. Make certain that Backwards is still selected before closing the menu. Next, click on the Assignment tab. The Assignment tab displays data relating to responsibility for the order, the plant producing the goods, and the assignments for the order. Click the Search icon next to the MRP Controller field to view its options. There is only one MRP Controller option. To close this window, click the Close icon. Next, click on the Goods Receipt tab. The Goods Receipt tab displays data related to the delivery of the goods when production is complete and accepted into the storage location. Click on the Stock Type field to view the available stock types. The Stock Type drop-down menu lists the available options. Next, we will look at the storage location selected for this production order. Click on the Store Location field. Click on the Search icon next to the Store Location field to display the available storage locations. The system returned a list of the available storage locations. To close this window, click the Close icon. Click the Control tab. The Control tab displays data related to costing and scheduling of the production order. Next, click on the Dates and Quantities tab. The Dates and Quantities tab displays data related to the quantities of the order and the dates that are associated with the order. Next, click the Master Data tab. The Master Data tab displays data related to the bill of material and routing for the material being produced. These data are obtained from the materials BOM and routing. Click in the BOM Usage field. Click on the search icon next to the BOM Usage field to view the available options for BOM usage. The system returns a list of all the available usage types for a bill of material. 
To close this window, click on the Close icon. Next, click in the Type field, and then click the Search icon to view the options for this field. The system returns a list of different task list types for a routing. To close this window, click the Close icon. Next, click on the Administration tab. The Administration tab displays data related to the creation of the order as well as changes to the order. Next, click the General tab to return to it. When all of the data have been entered and verified, the production order is ready to save. Click the Save icon to create the order. The system displays the production order number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note that the initial screen for creating the production order is displayed. Demo 6.5 Create Production Order